Why hello there. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where I obtained my wifey status. It's official, I have a sticker for it. Um, but we're not talking about that today. Today, I'm coming at you with a cooking video. I can in fact cook um, a range of approximately three different things, including cereal, pasta, and some good desserts. And today, I'm going to be baking a cack. It's my grandmother's world famous recipe that is famous in her household. Um, yes, she's given me the recipe and I'm about to bake it. Now, I've never baked this recipe before. I usually stick to cereal and ramen noodles, um, but I am widening my my mental cookbook, okay? And hopefully this will be added. The thing is, she has told me the ingredients necessary, but not what order they get combined. So it just says flour, baking soda, butter, eggs, sugar, yada, yada, yada. And I just gotta figure out what goes in what, in what bowl, in where, in who, but that's why I thought I should bring y'all along. First off, I'm going to wash my Hans. Um, because you never know where those have been, right? Am I right? Whoa, that's very far. I have began by preheating my oven to 350 degrees precisely. Special appearance. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, nice. Ah. Did he scratch your back? In many places. Meow, meow. Enough of that. I'm the star of this show. Let's get to it. So I have my two bowls. We shall be in. Let's start mixing. So I'm going to grab my flour. Oh no, this. Oh no, this bag is almost empty. What to do? What to do? Oh wait, I'm prepared. We have a full new bag. I thought while I cook, I should discuss some topic of some kind. Um since it's not like I'll be giving y'all tips on how to cook because oh boy, oh boy, I, I should not be doing that. So, let's discuss. The only thing I know very well is myself and my life, so maybe we should talk about that. Maybe y'all can get to know me a little bit better. Me, the star of the show. So, my name's Alex Stoddy. Wait, let me, I can't do two things at once, okay. One and a half teaspoons baking powder. Baking powder. Baking powder. Where's the baking powder? Okay, this recipe calls for baking soda and baking powder. Update, I only have one of those. And it is baking soda. Got it. Okay. Back to the important topic. Me! Oh, I can tell you about my current crisis that I'm going through. So basically, I'm in my second year of studies. Being studious, you know, or whatever. And... I've come to a realization, which has led to a serious problem, um, causing me to question my whole future. So, okay, I can't multitask. Okay. In another bowl, I'm going to mix together the butter and the sugar. Okay, continue now. How much butter? One cup butter at room temp. I'm going to put my cookbook recipe book in my drying rack because what else would it be used for? Okay. Anyhow, getting back to the topic at hand. Me, as I said, I was having a crisis because basically I don't like my program. That's good and fresh, so I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna drop it. But the thing is, I don't know what to switch into. That is the real dilemma. That's what's been on my mind for the past little bitty while. <laughs> Ew, butter feels so gross. Very scrumptious and delectable. Okay, now that that's in the bowl, oh my gosh, my hand. I also am planning on changing the university that I'm going to also. So I wanna change programs and I also want to switch my university because I don't like this town, boy. I'm currently away from home. I'm studying away from my mama and my papa, and I'm not having it no more. I'm currently doing the fall term, and 
Oh boy, oh boy, I'm not loving it. Um, a full course loads five courses. I'm taking three. I dropped out of two because when I realized I, I'm literally just like chopping up this butter, playing with this butter. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. One and a half cups sugar. BRB. So when I realized I didn't like the program that I was in, I was like, well, what the heck? These courses are useless and I wasn't going to do very well in them. So I was like, let's ditch this crap. I'll let y'all in on my little bitty plan that my parents don't even know because I'm scared to tell them. So I am going through the three courses this term. Your girl, ugh. my grades are also not doing really well. It's really stressing me out, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Next term, I want to switch all my courses to do the program I want to continue with. And then next year, I'm going to continue that program at another university. So I need to figure out what program I want to do because I need to apply to that program. And oh my gosh, it's going to come so gosh dang quickly. And I just need to figure this schnitzel out. Oh, some of y'all may be wondering, hmm, why do you want to switch schools? Okay, let me get into that. So basically, right now, I am studying at a university that is five hours away from my parents. And I don't want to go and switch universities to go closer to my parents. That's not really like... That's not the main reason. Like, it'll be great to have my parents because I think I do want that extra support from my parents um, because when my mental health gets bad, it's really beneficial for me to have them there with me. Anyways, yeah, the city I'm in, I don't love. I also, okay, okay, that's not really it. I don't really care about the city. But the main reason is, um, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad, but I'm just going to try and keep it lighthearted. Okay, so basically, I don't have friends. I don't really have that many friends here, and my boyfriend is leaving next year, and he's my, like, main person here. I have a couple friends, um, but not, like, my best, best friends. They're not here, so that's really not that great. So the only real reason that I'm here is for my boyfriend. We have our place together here, and that's the only real reason that I'm staying in this town, um, especially now that I'm realizing I don't like my program. So it's like, I don't like the school that I'm going to. And I don't have friends tying me here, so it's like, why would I stay in a city by myself? Because my boyfriend's going back home, where we're both from, to do more schooling there. So, it just made more sense for me to also go back home and do that. So, yeah, switching programs has been on my mind a lot recently, and that's been really causing me a lot of stress. I don't know how the heck I'm going to figure out what program I want to do. I was really worried to tell my dad, because... Well, he's the one that's kind of like in charge of my schooling um, in terms of money and finances and all that stuff. So I was really worried to tell him that I wasn't like my program and basically yeah, I wanted to drop out. I feel like that's a little like, oh my gosh. So I told my papa this weekend. It went over well. He was kind of just like, at least you're in second year now, not fourth year. Don't be afraid to switch, like whatever. You just have to find what you like. And I'm like, how the heck to a topinist am I supposed to find what I like? You know what I mean? So it's like, there's so many programs that you can choose from and... Have I had experience in interior designing or being an architect or being a zoologist? No, Susan, I don't. So how the heck do you expect me to choose what I want to do for the rest of my life? Like, what the heck? I'm trying to keep composed. I'm very stressed. If you <laughs> couldn't notice. On with the cooking. So I just combined the butter and the sugar. Oh yeah, I don't have a mixer um, or a hand mixer or any mixer of any sort. I am very professional in this household. So yeah, I just mixed it with a little bitty spatula. So I mixed the flour with the baking powder and the baking soda, or whichever one I had. And then I mixed the butter with the sugar. But I still have salt, sour cream, vanilla, and eggs. I'm just gonna start adding them. Whatever, if it don't combine, it don't combine. I'm going to go ahead and add in the, no, I feel like sour cream's too wet to add in this. I'm gonna add in the eggs. I got two balls right here. So I'm gonna add these in. So I'm gonna mix this up real good. This looks disgusting. It literally looks like Ew, ew, eggs. I don't like this. What the heck? Okay, I'm not gonna mix this in fully. Now I'm gonna mix in sour cream. I'm adding in roughly one cup of sour cream. It's kind of hard to measure. Hopefully that's not too serious. Hopefully this all comes together because boy, it doesn't look very good right now. <laughs> so our last ingredient is one teaspoon vanilla and like I said, I'm very prepared um, and we don't have vanilla in our household. So that's just darn dangling perfect. Now I'm gonna mix in the wet with the dry. I think the reason it looks so marked is because the butter wasn't really that combined. So it stayed in chunky bits so it looks like scrambled eggs. I also don't like sour cream. It doesn't look wet enough to combine with so much powder. 
the cake pan has been secured. I will now grease it and flour it. I'm gonna take some butter on a napkin. I just realized that salt was in the recipe, but I didn't add salt. Sick. Okay, this is going in. Now we must clean. smoke arise from the sink area it's because I use very hot water to kill the bacteria I'm kidding but I find it easier and I get everything off much quicker Okay, so as I said, this cooking show is very professional. Um, and after I put the cake in the oven and began cleaning and chillaxing, um, I realized I didn't have a timer on. So we're just gonna have to deal with that. I know it's not anywhere near ready yet, but I'm curious. So we're gonna take a peek see to what is going on in the oven. Let's do it. Hello, hello, okay. The cake has been taken out of the oven. I don't have any toothpicks, um, but I want to stab it with something to make sure that it isn't raw in the middle. So I'm using a chopstick. It's not cooked yet. Okay, sick. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be okay. Now I'm gonna go on to the icing. The cream cheese is supposed to be softened and I did leave it out for a while, but I feel like it's not soft enough. So I'm gonna zap it in the microwave. Okay, while well that's going, I've got half a cup of butter. I'm going to put that into the bowl. I'm gonna add the cream cheese in. Bloop. Now I'm gonna try and combine the cream cheese and the butter. Yeah, like I said, I don't have vanilla, so yeah, vanilla isn't gonna be in this, <laughs> but there should be vanilla. Now I'm gonna add in some icing sugar, about half a cup. Oh, my arm's tired. Sure. Is that okay? Thanks, hon. So there's sour cream in the cake batter and I don't eat sour cream. And there's cream cheese in the icing and I also don't like cream cheese. So this cake is just, just great. The cake has been retrieved. The icing has been made. Now we will add that to that equals happiness. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna start by cutting this cake out. I'm gonna put it on a plate. I've let it sufficiently cool down. Okay, she looks quite tan in color. Hopefully it tastes fine. <laughs> we shall begin the icing process. I'm gonna slap on a ton of icing and then use a little knife to spread it. This is making a real mess on the plate here. How the heck and Bob do people get the sides? So this is the final product. I would not say it's a masterpiece, but we still have not tasted it. I'm gonna bring it to the hubby boo boy. Honey, honey, I baked you a cake. She's real good. Mm-hmm. It's actually really good. It's gonna be a hot mess, like, since I forgot some ingredients and it was a weird texture. But ooh, boo boy, this is yummy. Would recommend. Thank y'all for watching. I'm about to muck this cake. I hope y'all enjoyed. Bye now. <laughs>